The Hyosabe is a Japanese yokai, with origins from Saga Prefecture and the Miyazaki Prefecture. They say it is a cousin, or sometimes, a companion, of another water yokai called Kappa, but crueler and more savage and harmful. They dwell in underwater caves and rivers, found mostly in the southern and western parts of Japan. They love to eat eggplants, thus, there was a tradition of putting a spear through a fresh eggplant and setting it upright on a field to offer to the Hyosabe. These creatures also like to come out at night to cause mischief and strange ailments. According to legends, the Hyosabe are short, with bald heads, long sharp claws, and a mouth full of sharp ugly teeth, which are prominently visible owing to the malicious smile they usually wear. They have an extremely hairy appearance. Their bodies are covered with hair, so thick it builds up dirt, grease and stench, and constantly sheds, wherever they go. It is said, that they got their name, from the higher higher sounds they cry out, when going back and forth, along streams. At night, the Hyosabe, would sneak into private residences, most especially bathrooms, and soak itself in the bath. The bathtub would then be covered, with greasy smelly hair, floating on top. Once they are done using the bathtubs, they leave them smelly, and covered in greasy hair. If a Hyosabe, likes a certain bathtub, it will often return every night, leaving a great deal of body hair, and a horrible stench, to be found every morning. Legends say, that whatever living thing, the Hyosabe's hair touches, will instantly die. There is a story of a man, whose bathroom was messed up, by a Hyosabe. When the man returned the next morning, he drained the tub, but some Hyosabe hairs, dumped from the bathtub, landed on his nearby horse, and the animal instantly dropped dead. The legends also claim, that whoever sees a Hyosabe, would be afflicted, with a strange fever of unknown cause. This fever, would even spread to the other people, the victim comes in contact with, and the victim would die, before two days expire. There is a story about a woman, who accidentally stumbled upon a Hyosabe, ravaging her eggplant field. The woman was struck with an illness, that caused her entire body, to turn purple, and she died the next morning. In addition, a person who hears a Hyosabe laugh, and then laughs himself, will be struck with a sudden fever, and die, within hours. Literature tells, that upon encountering with someone, the Hyosabe, would laugh. <laughs> and if that other person, also laughs from this, they would get a fever, and die. Hyosabe, are occasionally honored, at local Shinto shrines. Farmers living in areas, inhabited by Hyosabe, often leave offerings, of the first tech plants harvested, in hopes that the Hyosabe, will spare their fields, for the rest of the year. Those who do not leave offerings, might find their fields and crops, destroyed by the monster. <laughs>